Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, April 26. The month is already almost gone. It's 8 a.m. Uh, 8, not 8 a.m. day. 8.08 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's start to talk about, you know, the levels uh, regarding today. So the maximum upside that I'm seeing is 4,096. Remember that 4,096? I have been telling this level since last week, and it's still keeping print, right? Remember that the order 384? I give you guys two options. If you didn't see, you know, unwind on Monday, <coughs> as soon as you back test 4,140, you know, this was a sell, and this person looked to receive $2 million, right? <coughs> I, uh, I guess in my morning call from Monday, I said that. <coughs> and I, if I'm not wrong, I put in the market trap too, right? So since this wasn't one wind, it was a, uh, was a sell. And now you be tough, you know, to bring market above 4,097. So the upside that I'm looking for is 4,096. Look how intelligent it is. Look line 375. Print yesterday at 1131, where market, you know, was trading at 4,105. The strike is 4,120, and the break even is 4,096. So as soon as reach 4,096, these guys, you, you exercise this order. Bring the market down again. Was the biggest order printed yesterday. Okay? Gotcha? It's not the biggest one. The biggest one was those two. Right? Uh, the total was... Uh, seven... seven uh, 700k but it was a short call okay it was a short call so I'm looking for the resistance 4091 I put everything in the spreadsheet to you guys okay I put the deltas I just updated the deltas right now to you guys so the deltas drop drop it drop five points it's not more 4086 the middle points 4081 and the key level that I put also uh, over here in the groups 4076. Losing 4,076 follow the downtrend levels. Okay? Yes, supports 4,074.36. Hope you guys understand. So, as, as, as if you break up 4,076, now then you try to look for the deltas 4,081, 4,081, If you break the region, so we look for 4,096.71. Okay? Gotcha? All the prices already set up. All the upsides set up. All the downsides also set up. At least for today, okay. So maximum upside 4,096.71. Gotcha. And those are the downsides that I'm looking for. Base it also in the spreadsheet. Base it also in the deltas. Okay. Now look, let's look for the gamma the zero to DT. Let's put like the gamma lab, lab uh, website in the screen. You guys already realized that 4050 is supposed to be considered a support because you have a put wall at 4050. And 4080, that's the resistance. That's really nice how deltas match with the gamma, right? Remember 4150, 4140, before, you know, the upside? Now we see in the upside and the major resistance, you know, deltas, you know, follow gamma. Okay, it's because that I don't like to see the GEX as, for example, crazy uh, uh, post in the group yes, and they said, why? You know if they bought or if they sold? Remember, that's the question that you need to make for somebody just make an analysis only, you know, regarding looking gamma. Because, for example, it's the JP Morgan call out again. We have a lot of gamma at 3,200 and 3,800. They supposed to be magneto, yes. But remember, they sold and they bought. So they need to try to defend. And then, what you need to watch to see if that uh, region is really, you know, or the upside is really reasonable or not, we need to look for the deltas. That's poor options. That's poor Greeks. Right? Doesn't mean only you to look for GX, the gamma exposure, and make a conclusion that the markets go up. I, I'm using Chris as an example because he said, oh, because you know this is a new tool, tool. So it looks like that the markets go up to 4,114. And then I ask a question in the open group. 
this is not a criticizing, just I'm trying to, to teach you guys, you know? And I said, but okay, fine, but they sold or they bought? Where's the deltas? Remember that I made the question? And then the markets went up to 4,094 because the deltas, the deltas is went down, it's not went up. He also, you know, I highlighted in my vlog yesterday that they trapped, you know, uh, delta analysis as myself, option analysis as myself, because they sold a lot of calls yesterday that they closed and they jumped the deltas from 4,120 up to 4,141. That make me conclude, you know, my analysis from yesterday, yesterday night, right? No, no, not yesterday. Yesterday was, yeah, from Monday night regarding yesterday. But they dumped the market. It was a big trap because they sold those calls. They bring the deltas up, but they sold those calls and they use future to dump the market. And at, the, at 7 a.m., they reset up the deltas, bring the deltas down again. Remember? So the deltas show us how the movement will be, not the, the gamma at all. We they keep they build they, they build gamma's exposure, but we need to see if the deltas is going up or down. Okay, because deltas that's the really important in, 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 in the options. As the name say, good CTAs trade based in delta neutral, not in gamma, in delta neutral. So they they know where the delta neutral is and they build their portfolio to be traded according to the delta neutral. So they will not try to lose money. They build protection to not lose the money based on delta neutral. Okay? Understand? So the deltas, you know, showing us 4080 as a resistance. We have a huge put, also a huge put wall at 4080. If you break, you can go up to 4096. I told you guys 4096. Uh, up to 4105, you have negative gamma, right? And I also show you the orders in the, in the dark pool spreadsheet. In another hand, we have another huge put wall, 0 to DT, at 4050. That, you know, bulls need to defend that region. Otherwise, you go up to 4,028, 4,043, then that's it. Anyway, if you look for the gross gamma, I mean, for, uh, the gross gamma for 30 days, you guys already realize that the magnet is 4K. Okay? I'm just showing you guys gamma. Forget delta. So, if the delta is going down and the magnet is 4, 4K, usually Van and Charm tend to... Follow them. You guys understand that? So, uh, anyway, I already give you, gave you guys, you know, all the targets for today. I already, I already gave you guys a, a gum explanation. I'm, I didn't finish to update the dark pool spreadsheet because you guys already know that my wife is traveling in business, so I'm taking care of my kids, you know, I need to put them to sleep, so what I have been doing is just, you know, update, you know, the day after, and give and provide you guys my analysis, okay, but I need to update the dark pool spreadsheet, this is not, this is not update yet, okay, so resistance, deltas, 4081, support, 4076, key, breaking up, 4080, breaking up, 4080, 4,096, breaking down 4,076, 4,050, 4,062, 4,028, that's the end point for me for today. Thank you guys, be careful, don't go against the flow, be careful if you know uh, casino, casino players, you know that, you know, they define the level based in, in supply and demand. Remember that supply and demand, they can switch these all the time because they put money options, not in future. Future, you know, the treasury department use to arbitrage and consequently, you know, dealers use for a hedge. So retail play those stuff and then dealers 
could you change supply and demand a lot? So because that, be careful with casino folks. Work close, try to understand the flow in the structure of the market. Support and resistance demand and supply change all the time. Based in option flow. Thank you guys. See you guys soon.